Hey guys, welcome back to the Struggleville YouTube channel. For this video, we're going to talk about this little GPS Smart Heads Up Display Speedometer. I picked this up on Amazon, and yes, it's a product I actually purchased myself. It was not given to me for free. However, before I forget, I did uh, contact the company, told them I was going to make a video, and asked if they'd give me a promo code. They did send that to me, so there will be a link down below if you're interested in this thing that uh, goes to my website and there's a promo code available. So, here's the thing. It uses GPS to act as a speedometer. I bought it because of my 66 Caprice. I went from 308 gears to 411. And, of course, that throws off the speedometer. The in-car speedometer is wrong now. You can also have that problem if you change your tire sizes, or maybe your speedometer is just broken. This is a cheap alternative and in addition to giving you your speed, you can see on the left, it shows the direction that you're facing. It also gives you battery voltage, and it has a couple other options we will look through. Obviously, the most important thing with a device like this is that it is accurate. So we will go test it out in the truck, compare it to a speedometer that we know is accurate, and see if this thing matches. However, it is also adjustable, so if the speed is off, within the settings, you can adjust it to correct it. So that's another nice thing. Let me give you some rough dimensions here. Height, you're looking at one and three quarter. Left to right, I'm left handed, so shit's always upside down. Two and three quarter. And oh, about three inches that way. The back side, you have this little switch here. You can rock it side to side, or you can push. And the back uses a micro or mini mini usb also i want to show you this thing has a fairly long cord so you shouldn't have any problems with the length of the cord getting it wherever you need it it's got a uh, 12 volt cigarette outlet socket on the other end personally eventually i plan on just cutting that off wiring this directly to my accessory so it comes on with the key, but do what you like. In the box you will get instructions that tell you what all the different settings mean, how to enter the settings, how to change them. So you do have those directions. To get into the settings mode, we just long press that button in the back. Go to settings. See, to move down, you just rock it side to side and then click it just like a mouse. Whoa, speed alarm, 150 miles an hour. Change that to 145, that's much more realistic. Battery alarm, if your battery voltage gets below a cer certain voltage. Here's your adjust your speed. By default, it's at 107%, so if you do find that the speedometer is a little bit off, you can change it and adjust it until it is correct. Speed offset, you got me beat, I don't know what it is. We're in America, we stick with miles per hour. Power off time, 180 seconds, that's three minutes. It judges that by voltage. So sleep voltage, you need to turn that on. With a good alternator, you're probably 14 volts or something close to it. So let's go, if it gets below 13 volts, that'll trigger the power off. I think that's it for the settings. Anything that's pertinent anyways. Like I said, the instructions explain all these if you wanted to actually get through all of it. And then to change what's displayed, going to the right changes the right one, going to the left changes the left. I want voltage and directions. I need a compass because I get lost all the time. 
So there we go. We got voltage, we got directions, and we'll check out the speed. Doing our little road test. You can see I have my cruise control on the truck set at 58 miles an hour, and we're also at 58 miles an hour on our GPS speedometer. I did adjust the speed percentage. Remember we looked at that percentage? I adjusted mine down to 102%. So all I did was set the cruise control, then go into the settings and slowly bring it down until it matched the speedometer. You can see it's also going down to 57 a little bit, but damn accurate. Close enough for us. I'm gonna be coming up to a stop sign here in a minute. I wanna show you guys when you accelerate, it does lag behind a little bit. It takes it a second to catch up with how fast you're actually going, but it's really just under moderate to, to more than moderate acceleration. We're going zero miles an hour. So you can see how it lagged behind on us. But it catches up quick enough. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. It does have some other features. Once I get stopped, I will show you some of the stuff because it's kind of hard to hold the cell phone and click the buttons on the back of that thing at the same time. By the way, did I mention it comes with a little two-sided sticky deal? Stick it on your dash or wherever you're going to put it. It did. It does. It's in the package. So this is the screen I've left it on, but if you just tap the back button, let's see, we can still change what we want each thing to be just show the speedometer quarter mile time we have to give it a shot the brake test I don't know, pretty cool little device well there it is guys your little GPS heads up speedometer I think it's a pretty neat idea, especially if for whatever reason your speedometer is inaccurate or just plain out not working at all. Nice little gadget to have. As I mentioned, there will be a link down below with the promo code if you were watching this reasonably after it first gets posted. Otherwise, I will try and keep that, that page updated if I ever see promo codes in the future for this same item. Thanks for watching. Give the video a like. Subscribe for any subscriber. I'll see you guys next time.